start this whole thing, just know that whatever we say tonight, and yeah, whatever you say throughout your day, sometimes you don't really mean it, okay? Women and men, especially men, but we're going to see, do not mean what they mean all the time. A friend of mine wrote down a few things that we say throughout the day, and kind of, you see, translated them to uh, what we actually mean, you know, that little voice in your head that goes like, what actually? <laughs> For women, yes means no, and no means yes. Maybe it means no as well, but that's a little more complicated. We gotta talk. I gotta complain about something. Of course do it. Of course don't do it, you bloody idiot. What the hell is wrong with you? Do you listen to me? You're dead. My personal favorite. Be romantic, switch off the light. I got thick thighs. I don't want you to see them. <laughs> are so manly means you stink, you gotta shower, and oh, shave. <laughs> Do you love me? You know this, gentlemen, or well, your wallet knows. I'm gonna ask for something really expensive. Ready in a minute, honey. Well, you know what she's saying? You might as well, you know, pull down your pants, watch TV and wait for me. Just watch the match, too, maybe. How much do you love me? I did something really fucked up today. <laughs> You're really not gonna like it, but I might as well start it this way, just, you know, I make it better myself. For men, it's much easier. Well, in the beginning. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yes, I'm hungry, they gotta eat, got <laughs> I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. See, I'm tired. They've done a lot of stuff throughout the day, mainly thinking about you, and yes, they're tired. However, nice dress means nice ass. I'm bored. Do you want to have sex? <laughs> What's wrong? I'm guessing it's not about sex. Can I call you once in a while? Can we have sex once in a while? Want to go out for dinner? Yeah, I'd like to feed you before I have sex with you. <laughs> Do you want to marry me? I want it to be illegal for any man on this bloody planet to actually have sex with you. <laughs> you look stiff, let me give you a massage. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? I'd like to start having sex with you in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Good one. And maybe <laughs> Ladies, you know this one. Let's talk, baby. No, I'm just trying to convince you that I'm smart and then I'd like to have sex with you. <laughs> to start, this is first and foremost an argument for regular sex with one significant other. Any men who would like a copy for answering the ever persistent girlfriend question of why do we always have to have sex? Why can't we just cuddle? <laughs> See me after the show. <laughs> to the ladies out there, this will not be the typical argument that one might hear in the bedroom. For example, I just want to show you how much I love you. <laughs> or, baby, don't you want to make me happy? <laughs> or, because there's nothing good on TV? <laughs> no. This will be a well-reasoned well thought out argument of the highest articulation. <clears throat> Article number one. My penis has needs! <laughs> In fact, if one is to look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, sex is mentioned twice, and not as an afterthought. No, 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 no. Right there at the bottom, at our most basic level, we need sex. Without it, everything that follows on Maslow's pyramid a creativity, self-esteem, security, morality, all go out the window. If you need further illustration as to how important sex is to our very being, look at what it shares a category with. Air. <laughs> That's right, ladies. 
If you were to ask Maslow and the greater majority of men which is more important, sex or breathing, it's a tie. <laughs> Article number two. There's an old saying, sex makes the world go round. Now, there are two ways to look at this claim. The first is based on the above article. And the second is based on preventing Armageddon. <laughs> first, as I stated before, without sex, soon we just turn into hungry dogs looking for our next bone. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get work done when you are fantasizing about every woman that walks by you? It is exhausting! <laughs> Secondly, and I say this with great sincerity, it only takes one sexually frustrated nuclear physicist to ruin the planet. <laughs> That's right, ladies. It's a lot of pressure, but it is up to you to prevent nuclear war. <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs> Lastly, article number three. All joking aside, it's because we can't get enough of you. We love the way you feel laying next to us, and the look in a woman's eyes when she's at her most intimate makes it quite easy to understand why we have difficulty deciding between breathing and making love to you. In summation, men do not feel guilty about wanting sex. It is at the cor core <laughs> of our being. And ladies, for the love of Pete, throw your man a bone tonight. <laughs>
and ode to a show. Wiping is not gonna work. It's out of order. Closed due to faulty wiring. And I can't do anything about it. I'm a half man. Well, I can't even say that. I'd be a half man if it had to work. I mean, I'm not a human or a beast. I'm no one. I'm lost in a world where my penis was my essence and a world where performance was everything. I mean, you can say don't think about it, but how can I? I'm reminded of my ineptitude at every single turn. I mean, it's hard to be a penis in the first place. I mean, vaginas, they can be asleep and they still work. <laughs> I don't need my rich out of adrenaline just to my function. I mean, I'm scared. I'm scared of vaginas. They frighten me at every turn. They're watchful eyes. I mean, I'm fine before I see it, but right before business time, my flight is canceled, down, service completely gone, once more. And I still can't do anything about it. I mean, I keep comparing myself to, um, you know, the penises on the porno movies. I mean, I try, but how can I compare to them? I always think the girl's gonna be disappointed. But, ha wait, what? Stop, stop, stop looking at me. <laughs> Both beautiful and ugly and 
interesting and scary. However, he, he likes it that way. You know what I mean? There are things that could send you into a state of euphoria. And yes, the occasional things that could send you into a numbing stew. But, you know, there's deep sea trenches that he's explored and they have revealed, yes, it is, treasures unheard of. And for some of you, it's not human. Curses unimaginable. But every time he dies, he finds something new, something interesting, something that, you know, makes his day better. I think he'll be a scuba diver forever, and I support him in that. <laughs> My penis is a scuba diver. <laughs> Shit, man! My dick's numb! <laughs> My dick's so numb, I can't see if it's bad anymore. I can't feel it. I'm afraid that after the last gram of cocaine, it might just fall off one day. Man, when I was a kid, making some extra money on the side, a girl that like she's interested, and so is my dick. My dick is saying, go for it, motherfucker. <laughs> so I go for it. And I say, do you line up my rod, bitch? But, but, but my dick is curiously tingling. From my dick's perspective, can I stand up if I'm not? Fuck yeah, I can. So my dick is a soldier in a wreck on a mission to get satisfaction. Living in this world, we know that Mitch Adams' wife didn't get any satisfaction. But I'm here to tell you that Coke Dick is half a doll well achieved and half luck. Because sometimes, if you like having tweet sex, it may not work out with all soldiers, but from proven experiences, my soldier is not only a soldier, but it's a trooper. It can stand the base, the numb basin, baseline, from the base to the tip. And if this little pick me up, my li little buddy, Coach Mitch Mars, can hold against any battlefield and win the war. And overcome his bushes plan and stand tall and proud, even in the case of Coke Dick. <laughs> My penis is a sports car. It's a monster, a fire-breathing dragon, the grease lightning of our times. <laughs> Only this time, it's back with a vengeance. I am equipped with the latest modifications for performance, style, and mere over-excess. <laughs> Diamond encrusted shifter knob on a seven-shift gearbox. Able to reach a speed of 120 thrust per minute. <laughs> And I've even got those 22 inch balls set up for that extra grip. <laughs> and even got the spinning fucking rims, too. Those are purely for aesthetic reasons. I want to look pretty when I'm on the go. <laughs> my penis does not abide by the speed limit. My penis is barely street legal. My penis just keeps getting better. Tuned, fueled, turboed. My penis has seen many roads from rough terrain to smooth path loss. My penis does not simply go from point A to point B, but it breaks sound barriers. <laughs> My penis is a martial artist. See, he fights systematically in a series of organized movements and lets no one defeat him. He focuses his attacks on specific areas, sometimes, you know, a combination of such areas. His offensive system does much more than punching and kicking. My penis strikes, it grapples, and it kills the enemy in a gentle clutch. He slithers as he attacks, and, you know, dances as he defends himself. He blocks attacks and gives them back. He can grasp you into a gentle clutch and just let your mortality pour out of his existence. He's been through many countless and vivid moments of meditation and concentration before and yes, later, after fights. I think he's got his own style. You see, he always wins and he doesn't like backing down. My penis is a scuba diver.
Sorry, Marshall <laughs> My penis is a rocker. He enjoys the hardcore life. <laughs> no, he doesn't rock the boat like some reggae boy. He rapes you till Nirvana. He takes you down to Paradise City with his guns and roses. He beats it, he beats it like Michael Jackson and doesn't stop till he gets high enough. <laughs> He'll thrust his knife to Sidonia until you're mad and you stick him at the black hole. My rainy head will rise against your strawberry fields and start, until you start screaming, yeah, yeah, yeah. I must say that he's a great lad, even though he's a dick. And the additional prick, William Jimmy Shelter, and Drug Saber Queen from my sex pistol. Always shooting up and thrusting him like Eric Hampton and Cream. All my ex girlfriends loved Cream, but I prefer Deep Purple. <laughs> Some girlfriends think I think my penis is a reincarnation of Jimi Hendrix. They've never seen anyone who thrusts with purple haze quite like I do. <laughs> He's my Buddha child and we are Rocky. Ladies, I have a warning for you. <laughs> if you ever See this man walking towards you. Go 